And you have another graph uh, showing uh, the different uh, shale plates in the US. Uh, so maybe you can, we can look at that and talk about the difference between conventional oil and tight oil or shale oil. Why that distinction is so important to understand when we look ahead. Right. So, so the, the, the US, <clears throat> um, you know, our production profile looks somewhat similar to the world in that uh, our conventional supply has been pretty much flat for, well, it declined a lot actually from about 1970 until the early 2000s. The US used to produce, you know, like maybe 10 million barrels a day in the early 1970s. <clears throat> And by 2005, 2006, we were down to maybe 4 million barrels a day. So that's, that's huge. <laughs> and the way that, that that was compensated for was the U.S. became the world's largest importer. So we're spending a lot of money uh, bringing other people's oil into the United States. And so, again, we, you know, we, started, uh, we started with this tight oil. And there's, there's sort of two categories on this chart that I show. One is tight oil in general, and then tight oil from the Permian Basin in particular, which is the big one, um, you know, the, the largest single supply of, of tight oil and you know, just about any new oil in the world. And so the U.S. and therefore the world is hugely dependent on, on these tight oil and particularly the Permian Basin tight oil play. Yeah. And you, you also uh, have another graph I thought was very interesting where you look at uh, you have a U.S. tight oil that has accounted for as U.S. shale oil uh, for basically all the growth since 2010. I think it's also very illustrative. Um, you see on the top there of the graph, you see in the blue, the tight oil, uh, but the conventional oil has basically been flat. Uh, so, so, right. so it's filled out kind of the, the, the demand. Um, tight oil has supplied the demand uh, uh, that has not been able to come from the conventional oil, right? Correct. Yeah. And, and, they're, and they're really, I mean, there are some people here in my country who, who have a, um, I, what I believe is a mistaken view that, you know, if only the government um, would uh, lift a lot of its regulations and restrictions that, somehow you know this conventional oil production would would greatly increase and and um i i wish that were true but it, it's just not i mean we the united states has uh is a very mature petroleum province and and most of the big oil companies stopped exploring for conventional oil in the united states back in the 1980s or so and went elsewhere mostly to other countries so you know the 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 possibility of uh of new supply just by changing government policies, I think is is uh, is is an unrealistic dream.